It's difficult to imagine the level of suffering these people have endured. After months of hiding, many used by ISIL as human shields, for every few feet the Iraqi forces edge forward. Terrified civilians emerge from the rubble. By God, ISIL didn't let us out. There were snipers shooting at us. Then an aircraft struck and the army gave us a sign. We went to bring out the dead and the army gave us a sign to flee. Many of them have witnessed friends and family killed. I can't hear anything, this woman says, holding a child with a head wound. Iraqi government forces say the few remaining ISIL fighters are trapped in an area on the west bank of the Tigris River that is getting smaller all the time. ISIL say those trying to defend the position will fight to the death. Their fighting strategy has become suicidal. All of the current ISIL fighters in front of us are wearing explosive belts. Even the snipers, rocket launchers and machine gunners are all wearing suicide belts. Iraqi government forces say suicide bombers are hiding among civilians trying to escape. So they force men to strip before letting them through. The level of destruction in the old city is almost total. Virtually every single building is either completely or partially reduced to rubble. The fighting to destroy the last remnants of ISIL in Mosul continues. And the terrified, the hungry, the young and the old continue to appear. Iraqi government forces have been saying for days now that the fight against ISIL in Mosul is almost won. But there are other towns, other areas in Iraq which ISIL still control. And that means that many more thousands of civilians will have to endure similar unimaginable levels of suffering if ISIL are truly to be defeated in Iraq. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Erbil.